Today I'm going to try and answer final Jeopardy questions from Kim Jennings' run on Jeopardy. Kia ora all, welcome to Mr. Quiz. Uh, great to see you again. Uh, Kim Jennings is a name you may have heard of. He is now currently the host of Jeopardy. But before he was the host of Jeopardy, he had the uh, Jeopardy record for the longest run of... Uh, Victorious Games, which I guess was around 75. Um, this quiz maker, uh, Purple Steve Six, that sounds familiar, we may have played one of uh, their quizzes before, um, has made a quiz where they've compiled every uh, Final Jeopardy that uh, Mr. Jennings got to face. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Final Jeopardy is the final answer of the game. Uh, it's the one where contestants can famously wager whatever they've won up to that point, so it's very important. Um, 20 minutes for this, 75 questions. Uh, let's see how we get on. I think we should be aiming to get at least 50, although in my experience, some of these questions can be quite American-centric, but uh, we will do our best. Uh, and we do have the category as well, which is helpful. So let's jump into it. The quiz link will be in the description below, as is the link to my Buy Me A Coffee if you wanted to support the channel. And let's go you can all see that that's great okay so she's the first female track and field athlete to win medals in five different events at a single olympics this is the 2000 olympics um is this marion jones no oh uh who is jones there we go who is marion jones unfortunately i think some of those medals were stripped later but um yeah, it would be predicting the future. Uh, word origins. This somewhat negative term arose because twisting fibers into thread was mainly a woman's job uh, I don't know, we'll come back to that one. Uh, Phoebe Snetsinger, she of the appropriate first name, set a record for this activity about 8,400 species. Phoebe, appropriate first name. Okay, we'll come back to that as well. Uh, the thing is, a lot of these may have been common knowledge like around the mid-2000s when uh, Ken was playing, but they may have kind of fallen out of common knowledge since then. Once slang for brain, this two-word phrase now means the Heritage Foundation or the Brookings Institute. What is... Grey matter? No. Hmm, okay. Uh, European islands, we should be able to get this one. Uh, Govdos, an islet administratively part of the lar this larger island is Europe's southernmost point. I'm guessing this is Cyprus. What is Cyprus? Huh, no. Um. Oh, what is... Malta? Sicily? I'm confused. Okay, I am going to just uh, go what is, and copy and paste that. Uh, the next one is going to be uh, fictional characters. Uh, this is going to be a little dot, I guess. Or is it Tiny Tim? It is Tiny Tim. Okay, who was Tiny Tim? But they accepted what is. Uh, the title character who was debuted in 1999 was created by former marine biology educator Steve Hillenburg. The title character who debuted in 1999... I was going to say House, but uh, I think House came out a little bit later. <sighs> could be TV, could be movies. In 1960, this new national leader made the longest speech in UN history. This is uh, Castro. Oh, they're going to have to have who is Castro, right? There we go. Okay, uh, we have to remember that. Uh, the Chinese government, which controls all of these in the US, won't let a new one be named until it's 100 days old. I guess a panda. Yeah, perfect. What a giant panda is. Did I request the maker for my clay to mold me man as the epigraph to this 1880 novel? I think that's Frankenstein is my best guess. The years kind of fit. Yep, here we go, and uh, the moulding people from clay suggest that. First designed as a surgical disinfectant, in 1895 it was available to dentists, and 1940 was sold to OTC. Is this Listerine? I think, yeah, Lister was um, the guy who was largely uh, credited with disinfectant in medicine. Uh, in the native phonetic alphabet, 
Alpha, Bravo, etc. The two that are titled Shakespearean characters. So this uh, what are Romeo and Juliet. Okay, in 1582, the man-born Ugo Buoncompagni proclaimed the solar dating system still used today. So this is probably who is Galileo. Huh, maybe not. Let me just quickly check the spelling on Galileo. Okay, we are back. Uh, the dates work for Galileo, kind of. Um... I could be completely off the wrong track. Okay. Josephine Cochran's 1886 version of this consisted of a copper boiler, wire baskets, and a pump. It's like a kettle? Okay, no. Uh, the almost four-decade collaboration of these two Germans began in Paris in 1844. This is going to be uh, Marx and Engels, I'm fairly certain. Uh, yep, perfect. Um, Daniel Webster eulogized these two men saying they took their flight together to the world of spirits. Uh, that'd be, uh, who are Jefferson and Adams. They died on the same day, uh, July 4th, um, I believe. Uh, this 1973 thriller was released in 2000 with extra footage, including a scene where, in which Ritalin is prescribed. Um, Is it one floor over the cuckoo's nest? Oh, no, it might be um, Clockwork Orange, I think. I seem to remember that being re-released in 2000, but I guess not. Um, it's not Jaws, right? Okay, should be getting that, but uh, I have to move on. Um, in 1901, Surgeon General Walter Wyman helped establish a hospital in Hawaii for this disease. That should be a leprosy. There were leper colonies on Hawaii for a long time. Uh, book titles, I am the Rose of Sharon, and when you know your name, you should hang on to it, are from two different books titled this. Um, what is Name of the Rose? No. Um, When you know your name should hang on to it. That sounds somewhat familiar, but we'll probably not going to get it. We can come back later. The title character's full name is Oscar, Zoraster, Frederick, Isaac, Norman, Henley, Email, Ambrose, Diggs. That's children's literature. So that is The Little Prince. Oh, gosh. Uh, is there any... Huckleberry Finn? Okay, we've got Huckleberry. <laughs> I'll take it. Um, the fruit of its name, she's its name with the literary character. Okay, maybe we could have got that. Um, in 1899, he was released from Devil's Island and pardoned for treason under extenuating circumstances. This is who is Dreyfus um, from the Dreyfus Affair, Jewish um, army officer who was accused of treason, maybe, um, during an anti-Semitic witch Witch Hunt, born in January 1919, the month TV gave, he was given the middle name Roosevelt, sports heroes, probably could take some guesses, but I will come back to it. This first broadcast, the news may be good, the news may be bad, we shall tell you the truth. Ah, this is American. Um, ironically, he might have saved himself from death in 1779 if he had known how to swim. Historic Englishman. This is Byron. He died... Um, Although it's too early for Byron, isn't it? Okay, it's, um... Is it too early for... Nelson? I was going to say Lord Byron died swimming. Um... Is it someone during the American Revolution? Like Cornwallis or someone like that? I don't think so. Um... Oh gosh, okay. Uh, let's keep moving. Born in uh, 1564, he was employed by Elizabeth's first Secretary of State to uncover path Catholic plots against her reign. This is um, Walsingham, is that right? Unless, oh, it's writers, so it might be. I don't think it's Shakespeare, but it could be Marlowe. Um, okay, there we go. Christopher Marlowe. Uh, after a 58. 
year flirtation, this woman called it off temporarily in issue 720. Let's try who is Lois Lane. There we go, that works. Of the eight members of the G8 Industrial Nations, the one with the smallest population. Uh, I think Canada. Yeah, perfect. Um, Daniel means... God is judge as he heal, God strengthens, and this name in Genesis 32, he strives with God. Oh gosh. Uh, I, I don't really understand the question. Let's move on. Um, the first two New York Times headlines said a 96 point type were these two years, five years apart. Um, like 19. What is. 1996 and 2001 I'm just thinking of 9-11 or 2001 and 2006 trying to think what would have happened in 2006 okay um for his role in this 1961 Thomas Cobb Georgia had been compared to James Madison uh probably something to do with the reconstruction in the south I mean it might be just what is the emancipation proclamation or the Gettysburg Address. Do the dates line up for that one? Hmm. Um, with the book about the South, he became the first president past or president present to publish a novel. Oh, um, I know Clinton has published novels, but I think it would have been a bit too early for this. I mean, I could get there just by going through the presidents, but we have to move on. Experts believe that 16th century Dutch growers, through breeding, gave this vegetable its colour to honour their ruling house. So, House of Orange, let's try carrot. Okay. Uh, the libretto for William Tell was in this language, the native tongue of neither the composer, Rossini, nor the subject. Okay, so Rossini was Italian, obviously. The subject, William Tell, was from Switzerland, so it's either French or German. But... French is most operas were composed in French for a long time. Its area is it's the largest African country through which the Greenwich Meridian passes. Oh gosh, um, could be Algeria. Yes, excellent. Okay, his recording career lasted just eight years, starting with 1955, a church, a courtroom, and then goodbye. I don't know that. The two U.S. presidents, whose middle names are also the last names of two other presidents. My goodness. Okay. Middle name. Oh, I didn't have enough time to think it through. I should have done stopwatch mode with this. Two of the four Shakespearean plays in which ghosts appear on stage. Please respond in ABC order. Um, what is Hamlet and Macbeth? Macbeth? There's a ghost in Macbeth, isn't there? There's definitely one in Hamlet. Um, oh, is it Julius Caesar, maybe? Definitely a ghost in Hamlet. Okay, we have to move on. In 2002, the Library of Congress speak on this comic... No. 1941 to 1971 comic book series in its collection. What is Batman? Doesn't seem... No, likely. A controversial 1979 war movie was based on a 1902 work by this novel. Okay, so this is um, Apocalypse Now, which is based on Heart of Darkness by Joseph Conrad. Who is Conrad? I wonder how many of these I've got wrong just because I put the wrong uh, question in. Uh, in 1920s, the alleged spirit powers of Marjorie caused a rift between these two men, a magician and a writer. Uh, I don't know. One of them might be Houdini. Uh, two of the three men who went from being either US senator or congressman directly to the president. Um, I don't know that. I mean, I could probably figure it out, but it would take a while. Pope John Paul II proclaimed the 16th century Englishman as a patron saint of politicians. Oh, gosh. Um, 16th century Englishman. Oh, who was... Oh, gosh. Uh, maybe Thomas More? Here we go. Okay, perfect. Um, a Spanish dictionary defines it as Circulario Maximio Quick Started de los Polos de la Tierra. Uh, maximum circuit around the Earth. So possibly the equator, right? Um, I was really hopeful about that. Okay, let's move on. Uh, Norma McCorvey recently sought a reversal to a landmark 1973 case in which she had this name. Um, uh, 
like Roe, yeah, there we go, like from Roe v. Wade. Uh, before Victoria and Elizabeth II, this was the last British monarch to reign during two different centuries. Uh, George the Third. There we go, perfect. There was the uh, 1700s and 1800s. Four minutes forward in the 20s hadn't read more than six words by this man before bowing to publish everything he sent me. Uh, maybe Hemingway? There we go, perfect. We're on a bit of a roll. Uh, Marilyn plots her husband's murder at a honeymoon suite site in this, her only film with a one word title. This is Marilyn Monroe movies. Oh gosh, I should be getting this, but I don't have enough time to think. Called the second most innovative 19th century American poets. One didn't read the other after being told that he was disgraceful. Um, who is Longfellow? Um, Whitman? Frost? Not even sure if these are the right time period. Okay, the Monsanto product was developed as a covering to turn asphalt lots into urban areas into playgrounds. This Monsanto product. I don't know. Uh, okay. Um, on Monday, December 13, three people were designated. These were met in Cheyenne, Wyoming, Wyoming to help decide the world's future. This is from 2004. I don't know. Okay. Uh, the last thing visitors see in this exhibit area of the Salem Witch Museum is a huge photo of this politician. Who is Kennedy? Just thinking of famous politicians from Massachusetts. Um, oh, I know who it is. It's going to be McCarthy, right? Uh, from the McCarthy um, uh, Red Scare type situation. Uh, Men of Science, Somnium, <coughs> an early work of science fiction was published by this German and published posthumously in 1634. Kepler? Yeah, there we go. Perfect. That works. Uh, Legend says this musical was inspired by London Fontaine's backstage bickering during a Shakespeare play. I don't know that. Second smallest independent country, independent country in the area in the Western Hemisphere. In the 80s, it was invaded by the second largest. So Granada um, was invaded by the USA in the 80s. Uh, last name of the Chicago cab fleet operator who started the drive yourself rental system. I don't know. After his public comments were criticised by FDR, he resigned his Air Force Reserve Commission in 1941. Uh, oh, what's his name? Um, the guy, Douglas MacArthur? He was pretty um, loose with his lips. Uh but I don't know who that would be. Uh, they first teamed up in 1974, one a quiet Latin teacher and the other a former clown college student. The brother of this leader is believed to be the first known European to have died in, this America, uh, in the Americas. Wow, okay. Um, uh, oh, Rowan, no, I don't know. Um... After several decades of it, of it, works by this man seen here, well that's a picture one, um, with only about 425,000 people at South America's least popular independent mainland country, that is Suriname. Uh, in 1893, as it was disappearing, F.J. Turner wrote a famous essay on the significance of it in American history. What would have been disappearing in 1893? Like some river or... No, okay. The Baby See the Murders was the working title for this 1978 thriller. Films of the 70s. Halloween. There we go. Uh, it began in 1886 as an extension of an upper crust family's list of whose house they'd visit and who they'd receive. Uh, Semi-annual publications. I don't know. Uh, the King was the great-grandfather of France's Louis XIV. Um... Oh my goodness, uh, is it just Louis the 14th? He ruled for so long that it's possible. Uh, do I have to do it like that? It is Louis the 14th, okay. Uh, souvenirs sold at this attraction include 1962 World's Fair glassware and mugs boasting I made it to the top. That could be the Space Needle. I think that was built for a uh, World's Fair. 
is. In early drafts, the heroine of this novel was named Pansy, and her family home was called Fontenay Hall. Wuthering Heights, maybe? I want to get to the end. Uh, no. Uh, it seems like Austin or Bronte's. Um, but we'll come back. Its solo female winner is awarded the Venus Rose Water Dish. Uh, what is Wimbledon? I think that's right. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. Uh, this Fortune 100 company got its name from what bought from sailors and sold to natural history collectors don't know. The Playboy rights took place in this world capital in 1907, follow a theatrical pr uh, premiere. Let's try Paris. How play his middle name contained the word rich. I don't know. Teddy Roosevelt used this boxing phrase to announce his 1912 candidacy and said, the fight is on and I'm stripped with a buff. Um, of the five times Congress has declared war, the three during the 19th century were against these three nations. Uh, what is... France, Spain, UK? No, okay. Um, oh, there'll be Mexico in there as well. It'll be um, UK, Mexico, Spain. Uh, okay. Well, we got 31 out of 75. Was that 15 minutes? That definitely wasn't enough time. I should have split this into two videos and done it on stopwatch. But given the time pressure, I think 41% is pretty good. Uh, so there's 75 and we have 15 minutes. So what's that? That's roughly... Uh, five and one question every 11 seconds or so, I think. Um, given we have to type what is as well. Uh, <laughs> it wasn't much thinking time, but let's go and see uh, which ones we got wrong. So this is who is... Marion Jones, we got that right. Spinster makes sense. Uh, bird watching, okay. Uh, makes sense. Think tank probably could have got there if I had enough time. What is Crete? Now, Cyprus is definitely further south than Crete, but I'm guessing that they're gonna. Uh, this is a bad one. I, I mean, Cyprus can't be right because Gabdos is not part of Cyprus, it's part of Crete. But um, I'm guessing Cyprus counts as an Asian island for this. Uh, the purposes of this, bit misleading. Um, Tiny Tim, we got correct. Okay, uh, SpongeBob SquarePants was the uh, character created by former marine biology educator Steve Hillenberg. That makes sense. Then we went on a bit of a run and got all these correct. Uh, what is the Gregorian calendar? Okay, that makes sense. What is a dishwasher? Uh, copper boiler, wire, baskets, and a pump. Uh, what is The Exorcist? Okay, um, is The Exorcist a thriller or a horror? I would probably classify it more as a horror, but you could definitely classify it as a thriller. Uh, Song of Solomon was uh, the book which had two different quotes from it, or two different books which had two different quotes. Oh, okay, and I see this one, yeah. The title's character's full name is Oscar, Zoroasta, etc. I think I've seen this question before, but I wasn't going to get there. Children's literature kind of threw me off a little bit, um... Although I guess Wizard of Oz series is um, children's literature. We got Huckleberry out of a guess. Jackie Robinson, I probably, I mean, if I had to choose anyone, I probably would have guessed Jackie Robinson, the first um, African-American player to play in Major League Baseball, but uh, didn't get it. What is the voice of America? I don't actually know what that is. Let me know in the comments, please. I presume it's some kind of um, radio broadcast, PBS maybe. Ironically, he may have saved himself from death in 1779 if he'd known how to swim. I don't like this question. Captain Cook didn't drown. Captain Cook was killed by uh, indigenous Hawaiians after a misunderstanding over... Um, well, not necessarily a misunderstanding, but a, uh, a dispute over... Um, uh, basically, Cook uh, had a friendly relationship with the Hawaiians and he had to come back and the Hawaiians were upset and angry with him. Uh and then Cook killed some of them, or kidnapped some of them, and then they killed Cook, so he didn't drown. Did not drown. Although I'm happy to be proved wrong. I will fact check myself before I put this out, but I'm fairly certain Cook didn't drown. Okay, um... Okay, this makes sense. Israel, uh, six, 1969, Man on the Moon, and 1974... I don't know, 74, what would that be? Oh, Watergate, perhaps? What is the Confederate Constitution? Okay, I was right. It was something to do with the uh, Civil War in the Confederate States. I just couldn't, couldn't get there. Who was Jimmy Carter? He became a uh, he wrote a novel. Uh, her career began with a church, a courtroom, and then goodbye. It does sound like a lot like a country song. So Patsy Cline is a good answer. 
And who's two U.S. presidents whose middle names are also the last names of two other presidents? Ronald Wilson Reagan and William Jefferson Clinton. Probably could have stretched Clinton, and then I'd just be um, naming random presidents. Two of the four Shakespeare plays in which ghosts appear on stage. Okay, please respond in ABC order. So, I was right. Actually, I was right with three of these. Hamlet, Julius Caesar, and Macbeth, and Richard III. For some reason, it didn't accept Hamlet and uh, Macbeth. I, I'm guessing in the Jeopardy show, they only needed two, but the answer seems to be worded here in such a way that you need all four. But I knew Hamlet and Macbeth, and I knew Julius Caesar as well, so I'm going to give myself a point for that. That's 32 out of 75. Uh, what is classic comment, comics? I didn't know that. Harry Houdini, I knew that, but I probably wasn't going to stretch to Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. And then two of the three men who went from either the senator or congressman, that's Garfield, Harding, and Kennedy. Okay, yeah, Kennedy was the senator from Massachusetts. I didn't know the other two. A Spanish dictionary describes it as Circulo Maximilio. Okay, they've put what is Ecuador, but I think they mean equator. Unless Ecuador is the Spanish word for equator and you needed to answer in Spanish. But can I give myself a equator? I think I'm going to give myself a equator. Uh, Marilyn Potts, her husband's murder at a honeymoon site and this, her only film with a one word title. Okay, that's Niagara. I wasn't going to get that. Uh, called the two most innovative 19th century American poets. One didn't read the other after being told that he was disgraceful. Okay, so Dickinson and Whitman. I tried Whitman, and did I try Dickinson as well? I certainly thought about it, but if I needed both, then that was going to be very hard to get. AstroTurf, I probably could have pulled, uh, actually. That would have been a gettable. Uh, who are electors? There's a typo in this, I'm certain. On Monday, December the 13th, three people who designated these will meet in Cheyenne, Wyoming to help decide the world's future. I'm just thinking if that is the 2004 US election and you have electors who are part of the Electoral College who help elect the US president, but there wouldn't be three. There's like a 538 votes in the Electoral College. Unless, like, three people just meet up to represent everyone else. I, I don't know exactly how it works, but I wasn't going to get there anyway. Okay. Legend says this musical was inspired by Lunton Fontaine's backstage bickering during a Shakespeare play, Kiss Me Kate. Okay, I wasn't going to get that, but Kiss Me Kate, I think, is based on Taming of the Shrew. Uh, last name of the Chicago cab fleet operator who started the Drive Yourself rental system. Hertz. Oh, yeah, okay, that makes sense. Rental cars. Lindbergh resigned his Air Corps Reserve Commission in 41. Yeah, Lindbergh was kind of borderline fascist sympathizer maybe not even borderline actually like um pen and teller okay that makes sense leaf eric said oh yeah the brother of this leader was believed to be the first known european to have died in the americas i was thinking mayflower jamestown etc but it's leaf erickson makes a lot more sense after several decades off it works by this man seen here would have got it if there was a picture I would have liked to think, but who knows. Return to the New York Times bestseller list in 2003. That's Tolkien because the Lord of the Rings movies came out in 2003. The significance of the frontier in American history. The frontier was disappearing. What is the social register? That sounds awfully uh, pompous. The heroine of this novel was named Pansy and her family home was called Fonterey Hall. That's Gone with the Wind. I was on the completely wrong continent. Okay, sailors bought shell as from their travels. This Playboy riots took place in this world capital following a theatrical premiere. Okay, that would be Playboy of the Western World by... Not sure, can't remember. Um, Rockefeller. His middle name is Rich. Throw his hat into the ring is what Roosevelt said. And what did I guess? Mexico, Spain and the UK. I think I settled on that. I just couldn't get it in the right order and didn't have enough time to type. Well, maybe I said Mexico, France, and the US. But there was the War of 1812 against Great Britain. And then the Mexican-American War during the uh, presidency of Polk. And then the Spanish-American War later in the century. Uh, the two ending in the same name. 
top 100 boys' names or top 10 boys' names in 2000. The two ending in the same letter of the list are the 12 apostles, Andrew and Matthew. And most of this firm's 70,000 seasonal white collar employees work only four months a year. That is H&R Block. I do not know why that is. I'm guessing it's something to do with either Christmas or tax season. Okay, so we got 31 out of 75. I'm going to give myself 33 out of 75. 33 and a half, maybe, if you count the Dickinson Whitman one. But, um, yeah, that's not bad, given the time constraints. And to be honest, if I had another 10 minutes, I maybe could have pulled up another... Maybe another 8 or 9 answers, but I probably wasn't going to get to 50, I don't think. Um, although the benefit with these quizzes is you can guess over and over. Uh because uh, whereas in Jeopardy you just have one you have to go with your first answer but that was a lot of fun I actually found like a whole rich seam of um, these kind of quizzes on uh, Sporkle with like final Jeopardy clues I know I've done who wants to be a millionaire questions before but um, if you'd like to see me do more of these let me know in the comments below let me know how you did as well and yeah I shall see you next time Kakita bye